Hey guys, Chauncey Phillips here with our brand new DVD Blu-ray Tuesday Shop video today. Take it to go out today, see if things came out today, see if things are on sale. Now today though, new release wise, some of the bigger things that are coming out is uh, The Crodes, A New Age. I keep on mixing up the title and thinking is it Crodes, A New Age or Crodes, A New World? But no, it's Crodes, A New Age, uh, which is the sequel to Crodes. Uh, that one comes out today. And with that one, I know there's a couple retail exclusive editions of that one. I believe Target has like a Digibook version. And then I believe that um, uh, Walmart has like a gift set which has like a water bottle and like I think something else in it and I don't know for sure though if uh, Best Buy is going to have an exclusive steelbook of that one I didn't see any pictures online so I'm not sure if they're going to or not uh, with that one other than that though uh, the other film coming out today is a uh, wrong turn which is the brand new wrong turn film in the series which is technically more of like kind of like a reboot uh, like a different version of the series but I thought it was actually pretty cool I'm gonna be talking about that one at the end of this video as well but also at the end of this video is gonna be a whole bunch of brand new DVD blu-ray and 4k reviews for some things I received to review and talk about for you guys. So definitely stay tuned for those at the end of this video. And as always too, let me know what you guys thought of the DVDs, Blu-rays, and 4Ks that I reviewed at the end of this video, what you guys thought of them, if you guys have seen them, and also if you guys plan on picking any of them up. But anyway though, guys, let's get going and see what we can find today. Into Target we go. And I also want to let you guys know some really, really cool news. This is something I am so excited about, is I want to let you guys know that I will be directing my very first feature film called Scream Bloody Murder. This is going to be a slasher film, kind of like a 90s style uh, slasher film throwback, like a, a film like Scream, or I Know What You Did Last Summer, one of those kind of styled films. So I'm really, really excited about this one. I'll be acting in the film as well, and I'll be, you know, um, you know, Will Colazzo will be writing the film. Uh, Julianne Prescott will be acting the film as well as producing on it along with Will and myself. So this one I'm really excited about. And I, I want to let you guys know, though, that this Friday, though, the Indiegogo campaign for the film will be going live. And I, what I'm going to do is I'm going to post... Um, you know, uh, links all around, so it'll be on my social medias, it'll be on like Instagram, uh, Facebook pages, I'll post it on the YouTube community uh, page on here, you guys can find the link, uh, and there's going to be all kinds of different perks on there, like um, pre-order a digital copy of the film, there'll be a perk for a Blu-ray and a DVD, uh, perks for, you know, producer perks, special thanks perks, uh, perks to act in the film, uh, all kinds of different stuff, and the one thing with Indiegogo, which is the, the big thing, how that works, works is you want to try and get as many people to donate on the first day because then it helps the campaign to like go trending and get onto the main page of Indiegogo and all that kind of stuff. So like I said, I'll be posting links all around. I might even be doing a live show on Friday as well for like an hour or so talking about the film and that kind of stuff. But like I said, uh, I'll be posting a link around also next Tuesday as well. I'll talk more about the movie and I'll have the link in the video then as well. But like I said, uh, like I said, so excited about this one uh, and really hope you guys are uh, excited about this as well because I, I cannot wait because I've made some short films in the past and you know, of course, Don and Murph and all those kind of things, but never have done a feature. So so really, really looking forward to getting to do this. And like I said, I'll be acting in the movie uh, as well. And, there, and also some cool people will be coming aboard as well. So I'll be talking about more of that later uh, as well, though. But let's check the front right here. And it looks like they actually changed out some stuff. They usually do that. I had a feeling that they would. Since the Crodes, you know, A New Age is a really big release, I felt like they would definitely be changing that in the front. But like I was saying, they do have the only at Target edition here. And that one has on here is a 40-page filmmaker gallery book for this one so it's like yeah so it's basically the um the blu-ray in there and you can see like the book is right there on the side so that's kind of how it is so it's not necessarily a digi book it's basically the blu-ray in there and then the little book thing there with it they usually do these in all kind of different ways um and it's, it's yeah so it's the same cover as well though on it sometimes the cover is a little different but it's the same uh yeah there doesn't seem to be anything different at all with the cover on the slip and everything but definitely a cool edition that one's $24.99 uh, for that edition and then the standard edition is just, so it's basically the same price for both editions and then the uh, the DVD is uh, $19.99 for the DVD other than that though anything new here uh, Lovecraft County I keep calling it County I don't know why I keep calling it that it's Lovecraft Country I don't know why I keep saying that uh, but that came out last Tuesday so that's one of the other newer things they put right here other than that, though, looking here on the sides, I always just check just to see in case there's anything else different. But no, not seeing anything else different here. Let's see anything else here. Yeah, all the same stuff like Doolittle, Call of the Wild. It's been the same stuff here for a while now. 
But we're now they'll head over to the actual section though and see what else they have over there though. Yeah, but in there though, in the um, actual section though, I saw, the only thing different that I saw was the Crodes, uh, you know, uh, the 4K edition of the film. They also had a edition that was like a double feature version of the film, which had, you know, both the movies on there. But I didn't see though the um, Wrong Turn movie, so I don't know if they're going to carry that one or not in here. If you guys went to Target though, let me know if you saw that at your store. And the other one that I feel like that was a movie was coming out today was I think called Silk Road. I just thought of that. I believe was today. I'm, I can't remember for 100% certain, but I think it was, and that's another one that I think they might have had, uh, or what it might have carried though, if, if it was out today or not. But um, like I was saying though, if you went to a Target though, let me know uh, if they had wrong turn in there, because I feel like they would. I feel like that would be one that they would have in there. But we're gonna now head over to uh, Walmart, and you know, fingers crossed. Because uh, if you guys remember last Tuesday, I went to a bunch of different Walmarts, you know, I think four or five, and I didn't see any of the new releases at all except for like one thing. And I was trying to show all these different things and I had like no luck. But what I'm going to do though is I actually went to a Walmart on Sunday and I saw some stuff out. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to cut to that footage first and then we'll head into Walmart and see what they have today on uh, new release wise. So first, like I say, we're going to cut to the footage from this Sunday now. Yeah, so taking a look here at the releases that came out last week that I didn't see. They have Stranded on Mars, and that one was $9.96 for the DVD of that one. Uh, they also had in here the very excellent Mr. Dundee. That was $12.96 for the DVD. And the uh, Blu-ray that they didn't have was $14.96. And this is the one I really wanted to show last week, the Leprechauns game. And that one was $9.96. And this is one that I'm in. Uh, there's a character that's looking up the, this evil leprechaun that's killing people. And uh, he's looking up the origins of the leprechaun. And he watches a YouTube video with me talking about it. And everything. Uh, one of the other ones they have uh, was this one called Finding Love During Quarantine, that, and that one is $9.96. They also had Random Acts of Violence, and that was $12.96 for the Blu-ray, $9.96 for the DVD. Uh, one of the other ones that I saw uh, was this one here called A Call to Spy, and that one was $12.96 for the DVD. And another one here was Tomato, uh, I think it was Tomato Red Blood Money, and that was $9.96 for the DVD of that one. And they also had this one here called The Informer, and that one was twelve ninety six for the DVD of that one. And I believe they also have they're going to have that on Blu-ray too, but I didn't see that one out. And then Al Alcamone, Ar uh, Ar sorry, Arch Enemy. I'm always calling it the wrong name, but that one was nine ninety six for the DVD as well. But now, though, we're going to head over to uh, the Walmart today, though. And like I said, fingers crossed, hopefully there's some new stuff in there today, though. Into Walmart we go. But yeah, though, fingers crossed, like I was saying, you know, hopefully they'll have out uh, some of the new stuff today. Because I know, that I feel like they would definitely have wrong turn. That would be definitely sold in here. Like I said, I feel like Target probably would have as well. But maybe they just didn't put that one out. Or some, sometimes randomly they don't get certain things you're kind of surprised by. But okay, so we're going to go over there. And I haven't, I haven't peeked yet, so I'll put the camera around and we'll see. All right, so let's see. We're going to head over there now. And all I'm seeing... I'm seeing a lot. No, I'm no, I'm seeing some new stuff. I, I do see some stuff. I see over here. Uh, there's a lot of empty stuff right here. So they don't have crowds. Like that's the one thing that you would have thought would have been out. So all the crowds are empty. So uh, I, I might go to another one because I wanted to show their edition here. Because let's see though what it is. You see their one here is a 4K, and then 20. So maybe it's this. No, this is a double one. Here's oh, so here it is. The exclusive. That one is going to be 24. 96. Sometimes they put movies too on this top area over there, so I'm gonna have to peek over there too, just in case. But let's just see if there's anything else mixed over here. I believe uh, Scooby Doo and the Sword of Scoob released today as well, and that one was uh, $14.99 for that one. Uh, and I see some, I do see some empty spots, like I see like Redemption Day, that one was $12.96 for that one, um, and then the Last Redeemer one there as well. Uh, let's see. Oh, last for a mirror movie. Sorry, I'm mixing them all up. But let's see here. Here, this is the other one I was mentioning today. This one, Silk Road. Uh, if you guys have seen this one though, let me know if this one is worth picking up. I don't know a lot about this or anything, but like I said, if this is worth picking up, uh, let me know uh, for sure. And that one is $14.96 for the Blu-ray and then $12.96 for the DVD of that one. And then they, like I said, they do have Wrong Turn and it's $14.96 for the Blu-ray, and it's, I mean, it's a very different movie. It's like, it, it's not as much about the crazy, uh, like cannibal characters. They're more no, like normal and stuff in this. Uh, but st I still really did like it though. It was like a different, 
take on the whole thing. And I always really, really love the Wrong Turn film. So if you like the Wrong Turn films, I think you guys would still really like this one. And then it's um, a $12.96 for the DVD of that one. But other than that, though, let's just see if there's anything else mixed in or if they have any of the other stuff somewhere over here that I showed in the video from the other Walmart. So let's see. Yeah, like in here, though, I, I, see a, I still see a lot of empty spots and everything. Let's just see Lord here. Uh, no, so yeah, I don't see anything else different in here though as far as I can tell, but at least they had their own turnout Like I was like I was you know expecting that would be one But it's just so weird like you wouldn't have, you would have thought they're gonna have t between the two of them They're gonna have wrong turn or they're gonna have the other one out You would have really thought it would have been the crows, but <laughs> not none of those But like I said sometimes they put them over here in this and I've noticed this uh, some of the new releases like randomly end up like over here on the top I don't see them right now, but they end up on the top over there, but I do not see them now though But like I said, I think we might head to like one other Walmart just to see if they have anything else different But I'm not gonna go to a million of them today though But yeah, like like I said other than that though, I don't see anything else Different it's weird too like all it's like the the thing is going on with a game, you know with empty spaces I guess too with like uh, switch games too. Maybe these ones were all sold out or something, but it's it seems to happen too with some of these like empty spaces too. at least these ones here Into the second Walmart we go Well luckily enough it looks like they have the new stuff out in here So they have the crowds here and so it's $22.99 for the blu-ray and then here's the edition here I was talking about the crow This is the exclusive edition only at Walmart version and has in here the movie a water bottle here as well as a 35 piece puzzle so that's cool here. So that's basically what it is. It's like a water bottle and a puzzle in there. And that one is a $24.96 for that. So it's only a couple dollars more for that one with the bottle and everything. So that's actually pretty cool. Other than that, though, they have Redemption Day here. And that one is a $12.96 for the DVD. And then the last premiere, that's $14.96. Let's see, though, if there's anything else here around the sides. So over here, I don't see Wrong Turn. So they had Wrong Turn the other one. So Wrong Turn was like here at the other location. Uh, we'll see though if it's like mixed in over here. At least they have this one though, so I was able to show uh, that version. But over here though, I don't see it here. Let's see if there's anything else mixed in over here. Yeah, these all seem to be the same stuff in the past couple weeks. They didn't change out to the stuff that I showed you from the other um, Walmart location. Let's see, anything else here? You always have to really check, because sometimes things can be mixed in but no, I don't see the wrong turn one. So it's always kind of funny. It's like you got to go around all these different spots to find them all. And what is this like weird thing here? Like this gi gigant gi giant Osaurus here. Some weird like volume one. It's definitely in the wrong spot. But it has like this, these weird little toys in there and stuff. So that's kind of funny. But yeah, at least, you know, we saw that one edition here though. But other than that though, I don't see anything else uh, different here though. In here too, they also have a standee for Crowds and New Age. I haven't actually seen them have a standee in any of the ones I've been to in a really long time. So it has a standee here for the DVDs, a $17.96, and then the gift set is $24.96, and then $22.96 for the um, the Blu-rays. They don't have on the stand though any of the 4Ks. They had a spot for it, but I didn't see any of the um, 4Ks out in here or anything. Here's another closer look at the water bottle and stuff like that in this one. So yeah, it's funny that they have the standee out. Like I said, I have not seen them in any of my locations for such a long time have one of these out though. Into Best Buy we go. It's funny over here too, they're having like the um, the Crunch Gym is gonna start doing that outside where you can like work out in like that tent and stuff like that. So it's kind of funny, like there's some of the locations are starting to do that now out here, like putting this stuff out in the tent, but it's kind of a small tent that it's in. Like it seems to me, like, I don't know. It seems kind of, I don't know. Like I, to me, it's kind of weird. Like I've seen some of them where they have like enclosed like this. And I've seen some where they're kind of like much more open up. This one seems real closed in and everything, but we're going to head though into um, Best Buy. Yeah, but taking a look here though, luckily enough it seems like they have all the new stuff out here and they have the crowds here. The DVD is a $17.99 for the DVD, a $22.99 for the Blu-ray, and then $27.99 for the 4K. I don't see though, like I was saying, any steelbooks. There is one thing here that says, no, that's not, so it doesn't look like there's gonna be any steelbooks for this one. Like I was saying, I didn't think there was going to be. Uh, let's see if there's anything else different here on the other side. 
seems to be all the same stuff back here but I did see though I peeked over here and I did see some new things so I did see over here a wrong turn and that one is a $16.99 for the, um, the blu-ray of that one here and then they also had out here I don't know if this was like re-released here or not this like and this is um a $12.99 like a DVD here that has all the Dust Till Dawn films as well as the um, the documentary on it as well and that one is a $12.99 they also have Silk Road here and that one is a $16.99 for that one like I was saying if you guys have seen this one let me know how this one was and if this one's worth picking up they also have a Centigrade here and that one is a $16.99 for that one this one here is from uh, Scream Factory and then uh, these ones are all older ones I don't see anything else different here seems to be all the same stuff over here tesla these ones were last week yeah so it doesn't look like anything else different here though as far as i can tell so anyway though guys that was all for my dvd blu-ray tuesday shopping video today like i always say if you guys enjoy these shopping videos definitely give this video a thumbs up also though let me know in the comments below you know what you guys picked up on dvd blu-ray or 4k if you guys up and you know ended up picking up anything today also too like i was saying uh be sure to be on the lookout for this friday for the indiegogo campaign for the uh, slasher film which i'll be directing a uh, scream bloody murder like i was saying i'm so excited about this one and like i said uh, thanks again though guys for all the support on the past projects that i've done you you know that have Indiegogos and Kickstarters and stuff and when you guys have helped the project but this one though like I said is one I'm so so excited about because I'll be directing it as well as acting in it and you know helping on all the aspects of you know working on all the aspects of production on this one so like I said they that will be going up uh, this Friday so definitely check out that and I'll, I'll post a link all around and stuff like that and I might like I said I may do a live show as well uh, talking about it as well sometime uh, Friday. But anyway though, like I was saying, let me know what you guys picked up on DVD, Blu-ray, or 4K today. Also, let me know as well what you guys thought of the DVDs, Blu-rays, and 4Ks that I reviewed at the end of this video. What you guys thought of them, if you guys have seen them. Also, if you guys plan on picking any of them up. And as also too, let me know too anything new that you guys have watched on streaming, any new TV shows, or any new movies, or anything like that that you guys have checked out uh, recently as well. But anyway though guys, thanks again for watching subscribing. Now stay tuned for the brand new reviews. And the first one I got here is from Arrow Video, and this is is one that I just want you guys to know was available. It's a movie here called Shogun's Joy of Torture. And this one has on here, though, uh, feature wise, it has a commentary track on here by uh, Japanese uh, cinema expert Tom Mess. It has an exclusive newly filmed interview with author Patrick Amasis. It has a blind torture thrill. Author and film critic Jasper Sharp dis uh, discusses the history of torture in Japanese exploitation cinema, has a theatrical trailer and an image gallery. And also on here, too, it also has a booklet with some stuff about the production you know stills from the film you know all that kind of stuff as well in here but anyway though like like I said guys just want you guys to know that this one was available from uh, Arrow Video uh, the next one here this is from uh, Lion's Gate it's a movie here called uh, Fatal which stars Hilary Swank and Michael Ely uh, this one I, I like this movie this is from director Dion Taylor and he also directed uh, a, one movie that I absolutely love a parody film called Meet the Blacks uh, that's a really funny movie he also directed uh, a couple years back a movie called Traffic which I really like that one a lot uh, he did um, Black and Blue. I really like his stuff. And then one of his early movies was a movie called... Um was it Chain Letter, I believe? or I think that's what it, was, what it was. And I remember liking that one as well. But this one was cool. This one is basically, though, about Michael Ely's character. And he's kind of like... Um, like can, kind of worried that his wife is cheating on him and he kind of has become kind of convinced about the whole thing and he goes on a trip for work to Vegas and when he's in Vegas he ends up meeting Hilary Swank's character and they end up you know sleeping together and it's just kind of like a one night stand thing and like right when he wakes up in the morning to leave he's like um like trying to find his cell phone and she's like oh well I, I have your cell phone but you know uh, you know what was you going to do to get the cell phone back and it just becomes this weird thing and then like he ends up leaving and then it ends up like um and then right when he gets back to his house, somebody breaks into the house and, like, tries to rob him and pulls a gun on him and everything like that. And, of course, though, the police come, and then she, and you know, Hilary Swank's character shows up. And it's like, well, how is she here investigating this thing? This was in Vegas. What's the chance that she'd be, like, here as the cop on this case? So then it becomes this whole thing about trying to figure out exactly who was it that, you know, was trying to um, rob him and exactly what's going on here. And, like, you know, it's this awkward thing, too, with it 
Hilary Swank's character too because she's like saying, don't worry, I'm not going to say anything and all this kind of stuff. And, and she's like, I had a feeling you were lying about everything you told me because what right when they met too in Vegas, he took his wedding ring off and all that kind of stuff because he didn't want to have the wedding ring on. If he was trying to get with people at the bar and all those kind of things. But I, you know, but it's one of these movies though where it's kind of like everything just keeps on escalating and getting crazier and crazier as it goes along and it goes in these crazy directions. But I really like this one. This has on here though feature wise it has a commentary track on here with the director and producer Dion Taylor as well as um, a, a commentary with the producer on here this has the making of, of the film on here as, as well as it also has the uh, alternate ending on this one as well but like I said I like this one it's one of those movies though when you know like it's like kind of like you don't know you know it's like you find out more and more about what's going on here as this goes along but it's just one of those kind of crazy sort of like um I don't want to ruin anything about it, but it's like there's been other similar kind of films about like a crazy person, but then you don't know if that person is crazy or you don't know if it's something else going on. It's all those type of things. But really, I thought, like I said, I actually like this one a lot. Uh, the next one here, and this is one that I was so excited to watch. Uh, I absolutely love this series of films. Like I've seen every single one of them. I remember seeing the original, you know, film in theaters and how much I loved it. And I watched, you know, all the sequels that they've made throughout the years of this one. I think out of all the sequels, my favorite one is probably like. Um, um, the second one and then the fourth one which I believe was the one in the snow I believe those were always my favorite of the sequels to the films but I honestly like pretty much all of them for the most part but this is this this one here is is kind of like a sort of a remake reboot in a way but it's very different the story but it is from the same writer of the original film so the writer the same writer came back for this and this is um you know the uh, wrong turn here uh this wrong turn this one here stars of charlotte vega as well as matthew modine uh and i like this one i really did it's basically though it starts off though with matthew modine's character and he's the, the one girl's father and like he's kind of like come to this small town out in the middle of like West Virginia and he's trying to figure out exactly you know where his daughter is because he knew that his daughter and his friends had come out here to go kind of like hiking out into the middle of the Appalachian Mountains and the trail and all that kind of stuff and basically though she's kind of been not you know he keeps calling her and she's not calling back and he's basically real knows that something is going on so he's basically going there to try and figure out exactly where she is and then it cuts to you know uh, I think it was like a week or so earlier a couple weeks earlier to her when her friends getting there to this area and they're talking about going hiking and going on this trip that they're going to do and they're going well yeah make sure you know in the, in the convenience store make sure you follow the trail and all this kind of stuff and of course though they go out there oh you know out into the um to the hike and then they come across like what ends up happening is like and this is a, in the very beginning like this big log starts falling down this big hill and like coming after them and then they see like weird people wearing these like um, bone masks and stuff like that and then they're, they're, they're knowing okay something is up here there's something bad about these people out in the woods it's, it's but like I said it's it's different than the original film where it's not like the um the, you know, the people that are coming after them and everything are not, like, crazy, like, um, the original, they're like, yeah, you come, 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 you know, they're real over the top and real crazy, you know, <laughs> and all those crazy laughs, and it's not like, <laughs> not like that at all in this one. It's much more normal, the people that are, you know, coming after them, and it's very different, and, but I, I still really did like it, but like I said, it's not the same with all the crazy, uh, weird people out in the woods coming after them. It's not the, in, in the same way, but this one has on here, though, uh, feature wise it has deleted and extended scenes it has the monsters among us uh, featurette on here it has a promotional trailer a commentary track on here with the director but like i said i like this one a lot though uh, the next one here is from lionsgate as well it's a new uh, film starring jackie chan and it's called vanguard and this is basically it's kind of got like a vibe a little bit to like the fast and furious a little bit because it's like um you know um Jackie Chan kind of runs this like he's like the CIO CIA and the CEC sorry CEO of this like um security firm where they kind of like protect people that are like high profile people that have a lot of money and like bad people trying to come after them and things like that and basically though he has this whole kind of like operation of people that are working for him going and protecting uh these people and these high profile clients and stuff like that and it's basically in this one it's about like this I think it was a it was a father and his daughter 
and then like people are kind of kind of trying to come after them and basically though his team kind of comes into play and it's one of these things too that kind of travels all over the place it's filmed in all these different locations and everything but it's basically though like one of these like real intense kind of like i said a fast and furious kind of vibe film with him and his security team trying to protect this and get to the bottom of who these people are and all this kind of stuff and you find out more as it goes along and jackie chan too is in uh, a lot of the movie it's not like one of the films where he's in it for like a scene or two like he is throughout the movie and stuff like that uh in this one and it all, on here though feature wise it has the original mandarin language version it also has the english dubbed uh, version of the film as well and it also has on here too uh the making of vanguard uh featurette on this one the next one here, this is from Lionsgate as well, and this is one that I wanted you guys to know was available, and this is a uh, collection here. This is called uh, Cheer, uh, Rally, Kill, and this is the five uh, film uh, collection here, and this is all, um, you know, uh, films from uh, Lifetime, and it has on here... Um, Lifetime original films. It has, like I said, five different films. And it has on here, though, featuring, um, you know, some of the films feature people such as Denise Richards, Vivica A. Fox, um, you know, um, Maddie Phillips in here. Uh, but the movies that are on here, though, are Identity, Th Identity Theft of a Cheerleader, The Secret Lives of Cheerleaders, The Cheerleader Escort, uh, Undercover Cheerleader, and The Wrong Cheerleader. And this here is a, um, a two-disc set as well. So the first disc has two films and the second disc has three films on it. But like I said, just want you guys to know that this one was available. This is the Cheer Rally, you know, Lifetime uh, movie uh, collection here. The next one here, this is from uh, Universal. This is the uh, 4K Ultra HD edition here of uh, The Crows, A New Age. And this is the second Crows film. Now, I, I never actually saw the first Crows film. I don't know how I never did. Like, for some reason, I never had seen uh, the original one. I don't feel like, though, this is one where if you haven't seen the original one, you wouldn't be able to understand it at all. Because uh, it's basically, though, about, like, this kind of, like, you know, um, cavemen, you know, living in this family of cavemen. And then they end up, you know... Um, the one girl meets the guy that she likes, and it's kind of like that's kind of what goes on in that one. And this kind of talks a little bit more in the beginning about how, how they met and everything. But it's kind of like this whole family all are going to try and find like a new area to move to, like a new kind of safe area to be their home and everything. And it's kind of them on this mission, and they end up coming across this one sort of like enclosed area where it's like this one family that's living in there. And then the family knew who the one guy was, and they like remembered him from the past. And they're like, oh, yeah, we remember you, and uh, it's good to see you again. And, and they Basically, though, they live in this kind of like sort of a little bit more of like a modern kind of area where they have more modern type things and they're not like cavemen types or anything like that that are living in there. And it's kind of becomes this whole awkward thing, though, because like the family that are like cavemen, they all like move into this area and the, the ones that are not are living in there. And they're kind of like this awkward thing of them having to live together and they're having like all kinds of little problems and little like disputes over things and all these type of things. And but then like something happens and like then they end up having to work together essentially but I thought this was fun like I said I, I did not see the original so I you know I didn't know everything with the characters and everything but I feel like still you'd be able to understand this one but it has on here though feature wise it has two uh, new exclusive short films on here so two different uh, exclusive shorts on this it also includes uh, deleted scenes and some featurettes on this one here as well but 4k wise though I always think too that animation you know animated films always look like really really good on 4k so if you guys have 4k capacities I would definitely recommend the 4k version of this one and also too the big thing with 4k that i always notice is it's just a much more a brighter vibrant picture all around and this is a very very vibrant picture on here uh but you know definitely a very very fun movie and the next one I got here is from Universal as well. It's a movie here called Horizon Line. This one stars uh, Allison Williams, you know, from uh, Get Out. Uh, it's basically, though, about, um, you know, the beginning of the movie, uh, Allison Williams and, you know, her boyfriend, like, they're in, like, this bar, and then they he, she ends up, like, kind of leaving and kind of, like, leaving him and obviously, like, ending this relationship. And, and it's kind of like, I think it was a year later, they haven't seen each other or spoken in a long time, but they are both back together because their one friend is getting married, and they're kind of like in a tropical island getting you know getting ready to get married for her you know her, the friend to get married so they're kind of seeing each other again for the first time in a long you know in a whole year so it's kind of like an awkward thing and what ends up happening though is they end up ha like missing the boat to get because you have to get on this like um like ferry boat to get over to the island where the wedding is going to be so they end up having to take this small plane and it's you know the uh, the, the captain of the plane um is uh, played by Keith David. And basically, though, they get on this this small plane and then Keith David's up there kind of like, like acting like something's wrong. And he's like, oh, 
Oh, you know, and then he basically what ends up happening though is he ends up having a heart attack while they're flying. And then it's kind of like they both have to figure out what they're going to do because like then the plane starts kind of going down like it's going to crash. This is all in the beginning of the movie. And then it goes down like it's going to crash and then she takes the wheel and, and like realizing, well, wait a minute, like, you know, I, ha I have some, you know, training at flying a little bit, but I don't know anything about landing. I don't know what we're going to do. Uh, I can kind of just keep the plane flying, but I don't know how to land it and everything. So it becomes this whole big thing of what are they going to do and they end up in all sorts of problems like storms and all these type of things and they have to try and figure out exactly how they're going to land what they're going to do in this situation and it is a very very intense film like i said this one here is called horizon line uh, the next one here uh, these are both from paramount and this is two different versions of this uh, film which is available for the very first time on blu-ray and i'll show you guys both editions here but this is the movie which stars amanda Bynes and shannon tatum uh, which i have always loved this movie and i'm so glad this is finally on blu-ray and like i said it's in two different versions here and it's the movie here called she's the man but it's also available in the edition here which is the um, girls rule collection and this one has in here uh, three different films. This has Mean Girls, uh, as well as Clueless, and then She's the Man. So like I said, it's available in two different versions. And it includes the digital copy, and each movie has its own uh, disc in here as well in this edition. But, you know, this is a great set. If you guys don't have these ones already, Mean Girls and Clueless on Blu-ray, this is definitely a great set. You know, these are also movies that I have watched so many times. Mean Girls is Lindsay Lohan's character going to a, a brand new school, and she was, like, living with her family in Africa, and she went to this school, and... And like she kind of gets in with like the popular girls and they have this book there where they kind of like talk trash on people and it becomes this whole big thing. And then Clueless is basically, you know, um, you know, uh, Lisa Silverstone and, and, you know, in school and kind of like her with her friends and play Brittany Murphy's in the film. Uh, it's basically her and her friends. And then, of course, she's the man is Amanda Bynes character. She has a twin brother who goes to private school and like the twin brother ends up like um, that kind of not being able to go to school and he has to go and do something. So she, so she ends up kind of going and dressing like him in the school because she, and making herself look exactly like him as, as much as she can and kind of blend blends into the school and does his classes and stuff like that. But of course, when she's there, she meets Shannon Tatum, who she likes, and it becomes this awkward thing and everything. I, Like I said, I love this movie. I've watched this movie so many times. I've never seen this movie in theaters, how much I love this movie. Uh, it has on here, though, for feature-wise, on the um, She's the Man, it has um, commentary track on here, archival commentary with Amanda Bynes and the director. It has on here uh, commentary track with the producers, uh, making of featurette, a uh, gag reel, deleted scenes with optional commentary, a music video, theatrical trailer, so lots of features. And then um, on the uh, Clueless features, some of the features on there, it has like Clue, uh, Clue or False trivia game, Class of 1995, Look Back, Then and Now. It uh, has some, um, f some other featurettes on here. Um, theatrical trailer, cast and crew in the making of Clueless, and then for Mean Girls... I don't think there was, I don't know, it doesn't, oh no, features on there was um, commentary track with the director, as well as the, uh, Tina Fey and the producer, Lauren Michaels. It has on here some featurettes. It has um, a th uh, theatrical trailer on here. And then it has deleted scenes on here with optional commentary track as well. But like I said, one of you guys know that these ones were available. Uh, the next one here is from um, Warner Brothers. They sent over a free copy of this one to let you guys know that this one is available. This is a really cool collection. This is um, Rick and Morty, the complete uh, seasons one through four here. And, you know, I believe that there's going to be a um, season, uh, fifth season of the show. I, I'm not 100% sure, but I don't think that it has started airing yet or anything like that. And this is the show throughout the years. I've not seen all the episodes, but I've seen a lot of them. And it's a very fun show about this kid kid and this crazed like scientist and it's very much in this and like has a feel of like back to the future if you guys like things like back to the future but like a crazy over the top kind of back to the future because like they're traveling through time and they keep on running into problems and like every kind of issue that you can imagine happens between them and this real like wacky kind of stuff and has lots of pop culture references and everything it's a very very fun show but it has in here though a poster and here I'm gonna show you guys this poster it's a pretty big size poster that's included in here I'll show you guys though uh, what's in here so let's see look at this poster so see it's a large size poster that's included in here and it's like you know you know Rick and Morty and then you see like this you know big like robot thing in here and everything but a very cool uh, poster that's included in here with this one I'll show you guys though a look it at the um, I'll put this like this because it's always you have to make sure you fold these up correctly. But also in here too, here's a look though inside, and then it has a um, digital copy in here of the episodes, and then it has a little episode guide, season one, 
and then two, and then three, and then four, and then it also tells you like the features that are on here. So like season one has animatics on here, deleted scenes, behind the scenes, season two has animatics for all episodes, uh, deleted animatic sketches, season two premiere party, uh, and then season three has animatics on there, um, and commentary for all episodes, animatics and commentary for all episodes inside the recording booth for Rick and Morty's part one and two. Then season four has a day at Rick and Morty, season four creating the snake jazz, directing Rick and Morty uh, inside the episodes, uh, uh, character creations, animation challenges. So lots of features on here. And here's a look though at the discs. And this is a, um, like I said it's all four seasons here uh, of the show, but like really really cool set here. Like I said, if you guys were a fan of the series and so the Blu-ray and all, like I said, it also includes the digital copy. The next one here is from Warner Brothers as well, and they sent our free copy just to let you guys know this one is available. And this is uh, the new Scooby Doo film, uh, Scooby Doo: The Sword and the uh, Scoob, and it's it's just basically like you know the. Um, like King Arthur and his court and the knights and all that kind of stuff. And basically, though, this is like with Scooby-Doo and the Mystery Gang all in the UK. And they're there, like, investigating this mystery. And they're kind of, like, in an area where, you know, where it's, like, the King Arthur and his court, like, but, like, that area now, like, the way it is and everything. And they're kind of there talking about the past and the history of this area and all about King Arthur and what had happened there and all those type of things. But what ends up happening, though, is, like, the bad uh, villain character kind of comes and they end up, like, Scooby-Doo and the group all end up getting, um kind of taken back in time through like this spell and they get back in time when it was like the knights and all that kind of stuff and king arthur was there and everything and so then they basically it's like scooby Doo and the and um shaggy and the gang and everything all having to go and you know find this person and figure out how they're going to get back and solve the case and everything like that and if you know figure out how to get back to their own time and everything but very fun and it has on here though feature wise it has three bonus cartoons i believe it had like the one Scooby-Doo, which was like Scooby-Doo and like Dino Pup, I think. And then it was like two of the um, the Scooby-Doo, I think the original Scooby-Doo episodes, I believe that were on here as well. But like I said, three total bonus episodes, which is always cool. I love that they always include bonus episodes on them. Uh, the next one here, this is from um, Sony. And it's a movie here called The Last Vermeer. And this one here stars um, Guy Pierce. This is basically, though, about this takes place after the, 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 you know, the war and everything, you know, that was going on and everything with the Nazis. And basically, you know, uh, you know, there was all the stuff that was going on with like, you know, artwork being stolen and things like that. And like by the Nazis and people that helped them steal this artwork and kind of hid it away and all this kind of stuff. And basically, though, uh, this is following around a guy who's kind of like in charge of trying to get back and recover stolen artwork. And they end up discovering this artwork that was hidden away. It was a Vermeer and this, these Vermeer paintings. And basically, though, he's trying to get to the bottom of who was involved in the selling of these to to get it be, to be stolen to like you know to the Nazis and that type of stuff. And basically, though, he's going and it's, it's looking as if Guy Pierce's character, who's this like this art dealer and all this type of stuff, it's looking as if he might have been responsible for you know selling these paintings to this person illegally. And it's basically though talking to him, trying to like you know this whole thing of like interviewing him trying to get to the bottom of this and see if he actually was involved in this what he knew if he was the one doing that and all that kind of stuff here like i said just want you guys to know this one was available it's a movie here called the last vermeer and the next one I got here is from Aquino Larber. It's a movie here called The Choir Boys. This one here has a great cast. This has Charles Durning, Lou Gossip Jr., Randy Quaid's in here, uh, Burt Young, uh, James Woods, Don Stroud, Perry King. Like I said, really great cast in here. This is like a movie that's kind of like almost like before Police Academy. You know, this was like like a Police Academy kind of movie about like a bunch of cops all working together and they kind of all like get together, you know, and, and they kind of like are all kind of like messing around and they're drinking and they're kind of like, it's bait and it it's kind of has vibes too of like stuff like Porky's and those type of things. Like one of those type of like, um, sort of like raunchy kind of over the top comedies and it's just basically though about them you know as like they're you know working together and then like you know just kind of having lots of problems and having lots of problems like with the you know at, at the job and just like all that kind of stuff that's basically what it is and they're called the choir boys too is, is like sort of like a joke because they're sort of saying that they get together for choir practice but they're really just getting together to drink and mess around and all this kind of stuff but it's a very fun movie like I said I had never seen this one before but this one has on here though feature wise it has a commentary track on here with film historians Howard S. Berger as well as uh, Nathaniel Thompson. It also has an interview on here with uh, Don Stroud, uh, radio spots and a theatrical trailer on here. But like I said, really fun movie. Like I said, one that you really don't hear about too much. I had never heard about this one before uh, either. 
Uh, the next one here is from um, Gravitas Ventures, and it's a movie here called Paranormal Prison. And this is basically, though, about, like... Um, you know, like this prison that was like said to have had like, you know, a whole lot of bad things happened to her in the past. So There's like a lot of history to this prison and everything. And it's basically, though, about a group of people who are going in there to do, you know, um, like a video on it because they're doing like a YouTube kind of thing and they need their like their their to kind of find something that will like get them attention and get people to like watch what they're doing and they're kind of like not really having like a lot of success you know getting like haunted things or things that are creepy or whatever that actually have people like you know would want to click on the video or look at it or you know watch the thing so they're going here because they, they realize that you know this would probably get them a lot of attention because of what it, they you know has been said to have happened there in the past and everything but of course though they get there and then it's you know bad things Things start to happen and they start to find out what's really going on at this prison and everything but I thought this is a cool you know done sort of found footagey style kind of movie about like making a, a show in there you know kind of like that's that's basically the, the style of this one but I thought this was kind of cool like if you like these kind of like haunted prison kind of like um, ghost encounter kind of uh, shows and stuff like that definitely would check this one out uh, the next one here is from uh, from epic pictures and this is from their dread presents line and I also got some uh, cool pro items from them to promote this film and I'll show you guys some of the stuff here they sent like a like a passport on here like a little mini a uh, passport with like a, a ticket in here like a destination ticket for Norway they gave like this little like um, candle thing and this thing I don't and I don't know what this exactly is what kind of like you know thing this was and then it also has in here like um like a lemonade thing, like kind of like making this weird Kool-Aid drink thing and like a vodka thing with like Cthulhu on there and Kool-Aid. So yes, yeah, so, and oh yeah, also too, these um like jelly beans in here too, like these sacrifice like jelly bean things are in here as well. But this is a movie here, like I said, called Sacrifice, which stars a Barbara Crompton. And it's basically though about like, um, you know, people were going to, um, you know, uh, this this couple were going to Norway. And it's basically like an inheritance type thing where they're going there to kind of figure out exactly like what they've inherited and all this type of stuff. But they get to like the um, the town and everything where they are, and they notice that there's like something really strange about it. like the the cop there that welcomes them is played by Barbara Crompton, but she's acting really peculiar and kind of weird. And like everybody in the town is kind of strange acting and all that kind of stuff, and they're acting really weird with them. You know, getting to this town and everything. And it's essentially though you know kind of um it deals though with like cults and stuff like that and of course like with Cthulhu and it's kind of like um you know so if you guys are fans of like HP Lovecraft and things like that this is definitely a, a cool one and it, and kind of like with that movie Dagon it's kind of like that a little bit too with like this weird town it has like feelings too with the cult of like the witch and the Wicker Man and all those kind of things all kind of combined. Uh, but this one has on here, though, feature-wise, it has a director's commentary on here, an interview on here, here with Barbara Crompton and the cast. It also has a short film and trailers on this one. And the next one I got here is from Mill Creek, and it's a movie here called Last Call. This is a really interesting movie. This was all done, uh, you know, split screen. So basically it's all done in one continuous take. So it's done following around the two characters. It follows around the one guy, and he's like at, at a bar. So it starts with him at a bar. It follows around the girl starting with her when she's driving in her car to work and she's working at like a um, kind of like an office school kind of place at night and she does like janitor stuff like cleaning up the place and all that kind of stuff and uh, basically though you see the guy you know, like I said it's all done in one long take from both their perspectives so on the top of the screen you see her the bottom of the screen you see him and then they like um, turn down the audio when it follows around when it's focusing on the one character and it's it's really interesting the way it's done like I said it's all in this one long long take and basically though it's about the guy and you see him drinking at the bar you see he's really depressed and everything and then he ends up like um going home and then it's following around the, the the girl going to her job uh setting things up and she's waiting for a call from her that she needs to know about her son and stuff that's going something's going on with him and basically though she keeps getting calls that night at the where she's working she's picking up the phone because she's thinking it could be her son and she needs to hear from and of course though then this guy calls and he's thinks that he's calling the suicide prevention hotline and he calls the wrong number so it's basically about him talking to her and and it's sort of like a starts as this miscommunication of him going, well, well, why, 
you know, because she's saying, oh, well, I don't usually pick up the phones and there's no one here now, and uh, I'm only picking up because I'm waiting for my son, and, and he's like, oh, well, so you're in, and he, she's like, I'm in training here, so I don't really don't know, uh, they get back to you soon, and he's like, oh, well, isn't there someone in there at all hours? And they, it's, it's, it becomes this whole big miscommunication thing, but it's really interesting the way it's done. Like I said, it's all done with split screens running the whole time, and really well done like that. It has on here, though, feature-wise, it has a making of uh, featurette on here, as well as a trailer. And the next one here, this is from, uh, from uh, uh, Red uh, Hound Films and Breaking Glass Pictures. And it's a movie here called Butchers. And this is a movie kind of like um, like a Hills Have Eyes, Wrong Turn kind of movie. And it's basically though about a group of these friends who are going out out in the middle of the woods. And they ended up like walking into the area that like where this weird family lived out and, and this family out kind of out in the middle of nowhere. And they ended up um, basically like because they wandered into the area they weren't supposed to, the guys were like, the, the, these two weird brothers were kind of coming after them and like chasing them throughout the woods. And like, it's like a real brutal kind of movie. Like I said, very much like a wrong turn, Hills Have Eyes kind of movie about them just basically out there uh, trying to, you know, get away and exactly what they're going to do, why these people are coming after them. And they're really relentless though, these two uh, brothers. Like I said, this one here is called uh, Butchers. And the next one here is one that I one that you guys know was available. And this is from War. Uh, Worldwide Multimedia, and this is a, a movie here called uh, 60 Seconds to Die 3. Now, what's cool about this one is uh, me and Danny Sinistalker uh, from YouTube, we both have a, um, a, a short on here. So basically what this is, is it's a whole bunch of different, um, you know, uh, shorts on here, and each of them are a minute long, and, in, and basically the idea is within a minute in the short film, someone will die in some kind of a way. So, um, so that's basically what it is. So we have a short on here, and it's like my character is like um, somebody that goes and meets people that he hasn't met for years, like the people that he went to school with, and he does like online reunions with them. So I do like an online reunion with the, with Danny's character on here, and it goes in a really weird uh, direction with what happens to him and everything. But like I said, if you guys wanted to see me and Danny Sinistarker, we have a, a short on this one. There's a lot of other really cool shorts, and like I said, they're all done within a spirit period of a minute. Uh, the next one here is from Troma, and this is um, available on Blu-ray here for the first time, and this is the movie uh, which is directed by Don Dohler called Night Beast. And this movie, if you guys saw the film uh, Mandy uh, in the, on the TV, he, they're watching this movie real quick. You see like a quick shot of this. And I was so happy when I saw that in, in the movie because, um, and I also have always like had a big connection to Don Dohler films because Don Lyford, uh, who was in Don Dohler's films, he was, uh, if you guys ever saw the movie Fiend, he was the star of that film, like the, the violin the teacher. Uh, and he was actually my teacher in high school. And like, um, I remember like when he, he taught my film history class, I remember he was like talking about how he was in these films. And I remember when I found, I heard him talking about that. I, I kept on talking to him about these movies like continuously. And he was like telling me stories about making these movies and all this type of stuff. And he was just such a cool guy. And he's half of the reason too that I, you know, knew to the, I kind of like him, he inspired me uh, to start pursuing acting in indie horror films. Like that's really what kind of put that idea in my head. The whole thing about, I don't know. It was like, so I owe a whole lot to him. I really do. And like, uh, he taught me so much about film history and so much stuff, but he was a really cool guy. He's in this movie. Uh, so I've always really liked Don Dollar's stuff and because of Don Lyford and everything. But it has on here, though, this is basically, though, about an alien that crash lands and it's kind of wrecking havoc. And it's also, too, these were all filmed as well in Maryland. So that's where I was originally from and lived till 2010. I was in uh, the Towson area. And so, like, if you I watch these movies and I know the areas, I'm like the one circle area. I'm like, that's right near where MJ used to live. The old guy used to do videos with. So it's just it's always a weird thing because it's like I knew all these spots. So they're just a fun watch. But it has on here, though, an intro with Lloyd Kaufman. It has out takes and bloopers, visual effects gallery on this one here uh, as well. And the next one here, uh, this one here is one that I want you guys to know is available from Dark Force Entertainment. And this has on here a really cool uh, slip cover on this one for uh, this movie here called Insect. And it also has a, a different title too called uh, Blue Monkey. And I think Blue Monkey might be like the, the more known title. I, at least I, I remember like this title a little bit more, I believe. And this is basically though about like at a hospital they have like this body that comes in and they and there's something like weird in the per, in the guy's throat and basically it's this weird type of like creature type thing and basically though it ends up being this this, this hospital where there ends up being this outbreak 
of this weird, like, growing bug-like type creature thing in there. And it's a crazy movie. It sort of has in here Steve Rails back in here. Uh, John Vernon is in the movie. Uh, you know, great cast in here. It's just a really fun uh, movie. Uh, a lot of couple of character actors pop up in here as well. And this cover too glows in the dark. So let me cut to a shot real quick of this glowing in the dark so you can see too, because this right here will glow. But also too, on here feature-wise, this has a brand new uh, HD transfer from the original 35 millimeter uncut negatives with extensive color correction as well as trailers on here. But picture quality on here, this one looks great. They did a great job. I cleaned this one up here in a really fun, you know, uh, crazy killer, like giant killer bug movie. But I guess also really, really cool effects in this one here. And the next one I got here is from Wild Eye Releasing. It's a movie here called Axe Caliber. And this one here is basically, though, about, like, this journalist who's investigating about, like, the legend of this madman who guy who is out in, the, like, the woods and, like, kind of, like, causing all this havoc with this axe thing that he has. And it's kind of like, you know... Um, and it's basically, though, too, it's not one of those movies, too, where you don't know who the killer is. Like, you see the guy, like, the, the guy, like, the whole time. And, like, he even, like, goes around to this guy. And, he, like, he goes, like, to people out in the middle of the woods. And he, like, like, like tries to tell them stories about, like, the the axe crazed person. And it's, like, it's him telling the stories and stuff like that. Then he ends up going and killing him and stuff like that. So there's really some crazy stuff in here. But it's basically, though, about this journalist guy who's trying to, you know, investigate it. And then are trying to get to the bottom of who is this killer and how to stop them and everything it's a real cool like throwback you know slasher film this one has on here feature wise uh, bonus trailers and the other one here from um wild eye releasing is a movie here called college pranks and this is basically though about like a group of these kids who are all kind of invite invited out to do because uh, it basically it's like this like youtube kind of prank show where they do all these type of crazy ridiculous pranks and it's kind of like it's gotten kind of popular and people are really watching this thing and it's about a group of people though who are invited out to be part of this prank show but it's going to be like one of those kind of like prank war kind of things where they all they kind of all do crazy pranks and more and more crazy things happen as they go along but it, you know, it's one of those things though when they when they get out there it ends up they're, they're realizing though that there's way more to this whole thing and it becomes this whole thing about like you know the whole sla like a slasher aspect to this whole thing there was a tv show i don't know if any of you guys remember it too and i always forget what it was called it was a, a show it was like a reality type show about people who thought they were acting in a horror movie and like they end up going to make it and everything and then like they find out at the end of it that it wasn't a horror movie and it was actually a reality tv show because when they were making this movie like everything wrong that you can imagine goes wrong i don't know if any of you guys remember that but i remember liking that when it was on but i totally forgot the name this one has on here though feature wise it has bonus trailers as well and the next one I got here is from Time Life, and this is a really, really cool collection here. And this is Ronan Martin's Laughing, the complete series here. And this is a uh, 37 DVD set here, which has all 140 episodes of the six-time Emmy Award-winning series. If you guys don't know uh, Ronan Martin's Laughing, it's a really fun, really wacky, over-the-top sketch comedy series, which aired from, I believe it was 1968 till uh, 1973, and it had lots of different uh, guest stars on the show. And it had, like, some of the main people who were on the show were, of course, you know, Dan Rowan, Dick Martin, and had, um, you know, uh, Richard Dawson, Ruth Buzzy, um, some of the other people on here were Lily Tomlin, uh, and it had a lots of different guest stars. So it had some of the guest stars that were on here were people like Mil Milton Berle, Sonny Bono, Mel Brooks, Carol Burnett, uh, Johnny Carson, Johnny Cash, Cher, uh, Sammy Davis Jr., Phyllis Diller, Kirk Douglas, Andy Griffith. Uh, Peter Falk, Sally Field, so tons and tons of people. Uh, Debbie Reynolds, uh, Don Rickles, Diana Ross, Rod Sterling, Frank Sinatra, Tiny Tim. Uh, so lots and lots of people are on this uh, series. I'm, like, I'm going to show you guys though a closer look though inside. And here's a look though here at the complete uh, first season here of the show. And this one has on here feature-wise uh, the Laughing Pilot 25th Anniversary Cast Reunion Highlights. A new interview on here with the producer and the creator of the show. Uh, Laughing Blooper and also each of the seasons has an episode guide in here so it has like an episode about the um the guest stars that week and that kind of stuff in here and then you have season um the complete let's see the complete second season here and that one has on here feature wise dick martin interview gary owens interview ruth buzzy interview and here's a look though inside like i said lots of different uh, guest stars were on the show uh, here's the booklet in here as well. Like it talks about the guest stars that are on that week. So, for example, like um, 
on uh, episode four had like um, Kirk Douglas was on there, and then um, uh, Phil Harris was on episode, uh, you know, episode uh, nine. Uh, so like really cool, like I said, really cool set here. Then we have um, so complete. Make sure I don't miss any. The complete third season here, and you know, you know, Lily Tomlin there, and then it has um, Lily Tomlin interview on here, still laughing, a tribute here to the laughing creator and executive producer, uh, and then and here as well, it has the uh, booklet uh, with the episode guide. Then you have the complete uh, fourth season here. Here's a look, though, inside at this one. And this one has on here a Lily Tomlin interview, Art Johnson uh, interview, and then it has the, the uh, episode guide uh, booklet in here. And then you have the complete um, fifth season here. And that one has um, some of the guest stars on this one were Johnny Cash, Carol, Carol Channing, Steve Allen, uh, and Tiny Tim. Uh, and here's a look, though, inside. Like I said, it has an episode guide here uh, as well and then the final one is the complete sixth season here and then this one here some of the guest stars on this one uh, this particular season were like um, uh, let me see anyone Don Rickles Rich Little um, uh, uh, Sally Struthers was on here John Wayne and then here's a look though inside here uh, as well and has an episode guide as well but like I said a really really cool collection if you guys are a fan of this series want to let you guys know that this one was available from um, Time Life and the next ones here are ones I just want you guys know were available. And the first one here, this is from VCI. It's a movie here called The Treasures of Dracula, the sexy vampire version. And this one here is restored in 4K. And this has Santo, the silver mask wrestler. So this is a Santo film here. And this one has on here, though, this has a Santo and the Treasure of Dracula version comparison, original versus sexy. This has trailers for new Santo movies with English soundtracks all coming soon on here. So like I said, just want you guys to know that this one uh, was available. Also, too, available from uh, VCI. And this is um, here from the VCI uh, uh, Cliffhanger Collection. And this is the new Universal Presents Wild West Days starring John Mack Brown. This has 13 roaring chapters. So these were like serials uh, that you would like go to the theaters to see. And it would be like you would see like one um, part of the movie. And then you'd have to see the other part like, uh, you know, I think like a, a week later or something like that. And then you would see like the continuation to it and things like that. And they like be at the beginning of, I think, Features is where they would play them. Uh, I, th I think so. I don't know. I, I don't 100% know for sure, though. But on here, though, uh, like. Like I said, this has all 13 chapters of the Wild West, um, Wild West Days, uh, you know, serial series. And the last one here, this one is from uh, MVD, and this is from the MVD Marquee Collection. And this is a, um, a movie here called Watching TV with the Red Chinese here. And this one has in here uh, Constance Wu is in the movie, as well as um, Gillian, uh, Gillian Jacobs and Ryan Anand. Out here, and this one has the theatrical trailer. Like I said, though, just want you guys to know that this one was available. And this is a film which was originally from uh, 2012. But anyway, though, guys, that was all for the review portion of this video. And like I always say, if you guys enjoy these uh, videos, definitely give this video a thumbs up. And I'll see you guys later.